Expo Home Building Center starting gate has the field. They're in the hands of the starter. Let's go upstairs for the race call. Here's Vance Cameron. Glenview Ronda, Woodmere Liam, JG's Fireball, Southfield Sky, Slightly Twisted, Taryn Lesu, Vicky Everyday outside. Fifth and final division of the Atlantic Sire Stakes approaching a start. The rough end pacing, Southfield Sky in at the rail, Glenview, Ronda third one to the turn. That is Woodmere Leah. Then fourth on the outside is Tara Masu. Way wide, Vicky Everyday, fifth. Moving into six is slightly twisted, and the trailer is JG's Fireball. So there goes Southfield Sky to the lead for Murner. Second, that's Glenview Ronda. Racing from third is Vicky Everyday. Then in fourth is Woodmere Leah. Back into fifth is Tara Masu. Racing from six is slightly twisted, and the trailer is. JG's fireball is seven. Twenty-nine and two fifths was the quarter mile. And that is Southfield Sky, the fraction center for murder by two. Racing from second, Glenview Ronda. Out of the turn in third is Vicky every day. Racing fourth. That is Woodmere Leah. Taramisu fifth on the outside six is JG's fireball. And now the trailer. That is slightly twisted. They're halfway home under wraps. The midway point leader, Southfield Sky, 59 and 1 was the half. Racing second is Glenview Ronda round the turn. Vicky Everyday third. Racing from fourth, Woodmere Leah. On the outside fifth is JG's Fireball. Six up the rail, Taramisu and the trailer slightly twisted. This filly has a gear that the rest of them just don't have. Southfield Sky, wow, on the lead, and she's all alone. Three quarters of a mile in one, 28 and one. They round the turn for the final time, and this one's over, and I mean all over. Southfield Sky going to remain undefeated, strictly up against the clock here tonight. Southfield Sky and Adam Murner capture the Atlantic Shire Stakes, second, Glenview Ronda. Woodmere Leo will finish third. The mile in one, 56, four. Well, can you take a good look at uh, this horse here, Southfield, Southfield Sky, here tonight for Adam Murner in the Atlantic Sire Stakes, two-year-old Phillies A division here tonight. Uh, we talked about her being impressive. We talked about her being awesome, and she's still amazing here again tonight, Kenny. Yeah, just cruising along uncontested, 29-259-1. And, and then as Vance Cameron pointed out, has that uh, that gear the others didn't uh, couldn't respond to. Uh, 29 second third quarter opens up on the lead and she's just off in a world of her own here a very impressive looking daughter of stonebridge terror count two for that sire tonight 156 and four adam Murner wraps her up here on the line for glenn mckay she's three for three picture perfect picture time once again for southfield sky and as we pointed out before the race the sky is indeed the limit
Now returning from the 10th race, number four, Southfield Sky, Bay Pacing Philly 2 by Stonebridge Terror. Off the drop-off dam, Southfield Sarah, owned by Southfield Farms Incorporated of Summerside, trained by Glenn McKay. Adam Murner in the driver's seat for the win. Philly remains undefeated, perfect three for three. Tonight, 156 and four. Southfield Sky in the Atlantic Sire Stakes. The official results now in the 10th. Glenview Ronda was second. Woodmere Leah third. JG's Fireball fifth. Southfield Sky, the race winner. Slightly Twisted seventh. Taramisu sixth. Vicky Everyday finished fourth. 29 and two. 59 and one. 128 and one. And the mile 156 and four. From the top, two, three, five. One, seven, six, four. Southfield Sky 210. Exactor 2620. Triactor 8220. And the Super Factor 13440. Time to check your 50 50 draw tickets. Tonight valued at $1,048. It'll be 0104. 602. Tonight's 50 50 winning number for $1,048. Oh, 104602. Good luck. Eight minutes to go here before uh, race number 11 tonight, and uh, we have a birthday in the house tonight. Alan Robinson is 65 years old. So, Alan, happy birthday to you. Uh, again, uh, happy birthday to Alan Robinson. Uh, who turned 65. He's with us here at Red Shores tonight. Alan, happy birthday to you from all of us here at Red Shores. Hi, I'm Gold Cup Ambassador Maria Ramsey. Get ready for the greatest show in harness racing, the 61st running of the Guardian Gold Cup in Saucer this Saturday night. Watch and wager from your favorite location through hpibet.com and the race day broadcast.
Right, the 11th race is the Joe and Wall Hennessy Memorial on parade. Number one is J.K. Express. Owned by James Perot Stratford, the trainer driver is Jason Hughes. Two Parish Bowl, owned and trained by Doug Beckwith of 2nd North River, New Brunswick, Corey McPherson, Kent Drives. Three, Mandu Fun, owned by Valley Grove Farms, Alex Quinn and Brad McPherson, trained by Mackenzie McGinnis, Dale Spence Drives. Four is Scratch, the 5 IC True Grid, owned by Joey Galan of Charlottetown, trained by Ron Matheson, Jules Barrio. Six is Three Truths, owned by Jason Rice of Kendington and Darren Doyle of York, trained by Paul Doyle, Cordy Hennessy driving. Number seven is Legendary Ron, owned by Doug Matheson of Cornwall, trained by Nick Oaks, driven by Adam Murner. Eight is Jetster, owned by James Struthers of Glace Bay, Nova Scotia. Mark Campbell trains and drives. There's three minutes wagering time in race number 11. And gentlemen, we're back with our selections here in race number 11. It is the Joe and Wall Hennessy Memorial. I'm going to go to the rail much like everybody else, guys. That's J.K. Express off that 54-3 and three triumph, his last start. That was a textbook two-hole ride by the Blue Knight, Jason Hughes, and the punters are all over him here in Charlottetown at 270 on the board. Then I'm going to go to the far-out 